Hello, y'all. I'm getting ready to go to the premiere of Christ Spiracy, the latest vegan documentary by the people who did What the Health and Cowspiracy. And I have been itching to like have fake nails. I don't know why I've been influenced by the internet. Everyone's always got their nails done and they're long and I've never, ever, ever done that. Like I've never had long nails. It's obviously not conducive to my type of job with cooking, but I thought tonight would be the perfect time to try some press on falsy nails. So I haven't done this in a long time, but it's Lauren Tries and it's Lauren Tries press on nails. I found these at Target. They were 18 and change with tax included there. Vegan and cruelty free. These were the more expensive ones. What's inside? Begin with bare natural nails. Treat nails with buffer to increase wear time. Buffer. And press cuticles back to desired shape prior to working with chill tips. Push our cuticles in. Okay. So then it says select desired press on nail for each finger, ensuring the shape and size align with the natural nail. Use the file buffer and cuticle stick to prep if necessary. Wait three seconds for glue to activate. Press and hold chill tip to natural nail for at least 30 seconds, ensuring equal pressure is applied to the entire nail. Perfect shape and feel using nail tools. Perfect shape and feel using nail tools. Apply enough glue to avoid air pockets for best results. Generous amounts of glue will firmly secure the chill tip and extend the wear time. Use a cloth, cotton round, or nail brush to remove excess glue if needed. So my whole thing with fake nails is that I think my hands are gonna look like a man's hand with nails on them. I don't have the most delicate of hands. They're small, I just feel like Oh, I'm so nervous what these are gonna look like. So this is way too big for my nail bed, ew. Like it's sticking off to the side. So how do you make that fit? Do I just get a different one? Then what if I run out of a nail? So this one's more the right size. Like I'm so nervous, they're gonna look so weird. And the baby one is like way too big for my baby bed. Okay, ew, I think they're gonna look weird like sausage fingers. So I don't really want them to stay on that long because I'm gonna have to start like using my hands in the kitchen tomorrow or the next day. Open. Why is everything so complicated? <sighs> also, I had henna on my hand over here that I've been trying to scrub off from Morocco. Does anyone have this weird bump on their finger from writing as a kid? Now I have a dent over here from holding my phone on TikTok. I noticed it a few weeks ago and I was like, what the heck is this dent? TikTok dent. So I hold my phone with my left hand, obviously like upright and in my left hand so that I can hit the fast forward button with my thumb. So it's only my left hand that has the dent. So pathetic. I was gonna get the ones that were just press on, but they didn't look as good. Oh, it's very sticky. God damn it. How much a generous amount of glue to your natural nail? Okay, ready? Three seconds, okay, I think it's been three seconds. So then how do I get these off, y'all? Oh my God, it's not sticky. Oh my God, I look like a wacko. Oh, I'm getting glue on the nail. Press, press, press. Oh God, it's so sticky. When I see people in their cooking videos or like just any, not even just cooking videos, I just think, what a lot of work and money to get this done. Like how often? Every week, every two weeks, every month? I don't know. I don't have the patience or the money to do this. I mean, press on's fine, 20 bucks, whatever. I can reuse these, but to go to the salon? No, thank you. I look, I'm a whole different person with these on. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think ultimately these are not for me. These are for other people. There are other people that these are for. But you know what? If you have a special occasion, fine. I just wonder what I'm gonna do all night. Am I gonna be picking at them, staring at my hand? I'm probably gonna be staring at my hand, I can tell you that. Also, can you tell their stick on? I think if you look really close, you can. And then it's embarrassing if one of these falls off. I mean, that glue is 100% on my skin, like under here. 
I mean, if I was still on television, this would be fun. I would definitely do this. It's so funny how nails have become a thing. Like they were never a thing when I was on television. Nobody had their nails like this. Who started this? Why is it a thing all of a sudden? Is it the Kardashians? Okay, what do you think? I just feel like a totally like different person with nails. Nails? No nails. I like doing this too. Okay, how am I gonna do anything with these? I can't do anything. You know, I don't think my nails look too bad. This one is the wrong size, but I don't think from far away you can tell. I put the wrong size on, it's cutting into my cuticle and I can't get it off. It says you need to soak it in hot water, blah, blah, blah. Not working. Okay, so what do we think? Man hands? I think close up they look pretty ratchety. They're like, you can see the glue and the edges. Maybe I should get a real manicure of this one time and see what happens. But there's no way I can do food videos with these. Oh, and then I did my thumbs the wrong size. They're both, that's one thumb. And then this thumb is longer. Final thought, how do I wipe my ass? Seriously. Okay, we're on the way to this movie premiere. So far I can barely type on my phone with my nails. And we're getting Taco Bell on the way because we're starving. And like, how does anyone eat with these? It's like I'm like I can't pick up food, and then you get food in your nails. And then you have to lick them. Ew. Not a fan. But we like how feminine they are. 